How's it going, guys? I'm Nick Doucette from the Scory Sports, and I'm here with RF Legendary, the top laner for Renegades. Now, unfortunately, you did lose two Energy Esports for, to open up day two of the NALCS week one here. But you did win yesterday in a pretty dramatic fashion. So for your first week of LCS, you got your first win, you've got your first loss. How are you feeling sort of making your LCS debut and feeling both sides of the coin? Um, I feel more experienced than I was before. Kind of going through a 60-minute game to like get the win in the end, and kind of uh, having a rough time in the you know in the second game of the week. Um, but overall, I mean, it's my first experience here, so I guess those are things to like learn and improve on, take this motivation. But at the moment, right now, it uh, feels bad, man. <laughs> yeah, you did actually have a pretty rough time, your Mundo against Impact's Fiora. Impact, obviously, a fantastic player. Um, is there something that you can take from this game, looking at how that matchup went or how that game sort of played out, that you can try and take into that sort of a tank versus carry matchup in the future? Um, those problems that occurred in that game have occurred in scrims, which is kind of like the biggest part for me because that could have, you know, that could have been prevented, and you know, part of it is on me as well. Uh, however, I think that Energy like played great with the split push pressure. They played great as a team for like, you know, setting up for everything. But of course, individually, he's like played great. So, uh, I, I guess like live and learn kind of thing. You said learn. Was there something that you guys as a team can take away from this week in particular and look to apply moving forward for the next couple of weeks? Yeah, of course. Uh, for instance, I mean, personally for me, like calling out for when I need like for when I need help for swapping or when I need like pressure to try to deny and, you know, punish and try to get the, the splish pusher behind so you could open up the map and you could, you know, do the things that you would want to do with the team comp. Um, but yeah, the, those things that could be fixed for the other weeks. Yeah. Is there something that you're happy with in any sense with how the games went this time? Something in particular that you you know you guys had planned out already that you did actually execute successfully? Mm, a little bit. I think we could have done a better job at kind of like defying goals, but I can't say that you know I'm inexperienced at this and like this was like the first time that this happened. So uh, I'm unhappy about that, and I think that I could have spoken up a bit more about it, and I could have individually also played better. When I spoke to Freeze yesterday, he was pretty realistic about your, you know, the Renegades' expectations, or at least his expectations for Renegades this split. Um, where do you think that you guys can end up this split, and what are you guys looking forward to for the rest of the year? As of now speaking, I would place us somewhere in like the middle. I think that we'll make playoffs, uh, but that is my realistic expectation. Like as of now, uh, of course we could improve, and of course uh, we could also, you know, get worse, but. Um, I think if we like keep working on things that we need to work on, then we will like make playoffs. And by that time, I will know then whether or not we're like actually good or not. All right. Well, I'm glad you have a, you know you've got some things in mind to improve on in the future, and I certainly hope that we see you guys come out strong next week. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us.